Hi everyone and welcome to the midweek shave, to the Wednesday shave. Uh, couldn't wait for this actually, uh, really needed it. So how's your week been and how are you doing personally? I hope you're doing okay. Um, we're going to use a rare razor and this is one of a collection which Donald Navy Goat if you, um, sent me a year or two back now. Yeah, it must be. Time goes so quickly. And it comes in this case. And that is a gem gold bullet tip. Um, a single edged twist to open razor. I'm not going to use those blades. I'm going to keep them with it. I'm not going to use it that often, this. Um, you can see, oh, see me there. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a new blade, one of these blades, gem blades, still a gem, if you can see it. Um, and I'll show you, it's twisted to open. A lot of people say these blades are paint scrapers, they're probably right, but they're, they're very, look at that. Gold bullet, due to its uh, shape there. Um, good grip, good weight, excellent condition. Um, twist the bottom. Obviously, non-adjustable razor, um, single-edged razor, and long the blade goes in behind those lugs there and there. And we're ready to go. Look at that, beautiful. Like something James Bond would have used in the early films. Beautiful. Um, so thank you Donald, yeah. Oh. Right, I have just pre-wet my face. Um, so to go with that razor, I'm going to use the Ever Ready um, horsehair brush. Uh, beautiful. And the soap today is the Sudsy Soapery. I was sent this a while back. Triple but super creamed, all natural 100%, super creamed, triple butter shave soap. Citrus and bay. Now this is, smell that, what do you think? You can smell a citrusy scent and a clove scent. So if you like citrus, you like clove, you'd love this. Um, and it lathers up beautifully using the uh, Captain's Choice um, shave ball, original shave ball, because of the ridges on the bottom. Good ball this, and fits nice in the hand. Look at that. And this soap is a, not a hard puck, it's like um, an in-between. People call it a crope. I'll just show you the... There. So, um, it's very nice actually. Lathers up very quickly and oh, got a bit high there. Like Adam and the ants here, yeah? remember him? The old strike. Stand and deliver. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, nothing overpowering, it's a nice sort of, as I say, like a, a citrus is at the back, the clove is at the front, so that's the strongest, but they're both there. Rinse this, now this razor when I've finished will be stripped, uh, well, you know, blade out, it'll be washed, it'll be cleaned, um, dried and then polished and put back. Because um, it's not a razor I want to use a lot of. You ready? Here we go. People say it scrapes. Very good. Rinse regular. Doing a good job. If this could only talk.
single blade. And I haven't forgotten the flowers, don't worry, we've got a nice bright yellow roses today. Nice change. So thank you, Mrs. H. And I'll put um, a link to Mrs. H's Facebook. I know a lot of you are already um, friends on Facebook with her. If you'd like to, if you're on Facebook and you'd like to go and say hello, I'll put the link in the description. And talking of Mrs. H, we'll have to have a close up now of the flowers of the roses. <laughs> I often think <clears throat> of the people that owned um, razors like this, uh, especially this one because it's in such good condition. Uh, let me just relather that. Uh, probably bought as a present or something and maybe never used by the looks of it, it looks new. I don't know how that sounds on camera with this good audio feedback and a lot of people think it drags and tugs but if the blade is sharp and the razor is in good condition i.e. the lugs are where they should be and not bent so that's one thing I would suggest if you look on eBay or somewhere for a, a vintage razor um, especially a single edge like this make sure these lugs, I don't know if you can see them on the corners the blades are held in by lugs you see them little tiny uh, little ends there make sure they're not bent or missing because they won't hold the blade properly so if you see one you could see one like this you know very very cheap and you think oh it's a bargain might be a reason for it, so just be aware of a single edge, especially these. Um, make sure these are in good condition. Otherwise, it's not not much point in buying it, really. Yeah, I often wonder what they, what the owners did, where they lived, what their families were like, where they worked. Yeah, it might feel or sound draggy. Feel doesn't, uh, certainly not. It's a... Uh, <laughs> this long ship. It's, um, it sounds lovely because you can hear But it's comfortable, there's no tugging, nothing. As I say, if, if the razor's in good nick, it's clean, and the blade is sharp, no bother. It's when one of those aforementioned are not in good order. That's when problems start. Or you're in a rush. I'm gonna put water on this for the for the wet heads. Those that like it wetter. Mmm. Look at this brush, good as any badger, should have had one years ago. People said in the comments, don't see you using a horse head. Um, I said no, and at the time I felt no need for it, I wasn't, I don't know, something just didn't ring, you know, horse hair didn't sound, it's like using dog hair. I don't know, it just didn't seem right, but how wrong I was, so thank you to anybody that suggested in the comments. Uh, about using one and even more thank you to the you know old Bootsy <laughs> 1968 thank you very much superb and of course to the 
chap, Mark Martin, who commissioned the brush to be made. And there's some unbelievable people out there, kindness. Can you tell how gentle I'm doing it? Hopefully you can and it's still cutting through the... Here my wrist clicks. It does that when I go on my wallet, you know. Very comfortable. Um, blade, not aggressive at all. Uh, good blade exposure, but there's a bar there, protection you see in front of the blade. So there's no, it's not an aggressive razor. It's not, um, uh, what, what should we say, um, an adjustable razor, obviously. But it's, it's, a, it's a nice, comfortable razor. Is it any different to a double-edged razor? Well, yeah, it's got one edge. <laughs> but, um, you have to use it sort of like that. Some, you know, somewhere just like that. Um, you might be different, some people, you know. It was whatever feels comfortable for you. Third and final pass already. Good grief. Time flies when you're having fun. And the razor is very good on thick, creamy, peaked lather like I like or sort of pasty as people some people call it but hopefully I proved in that last pass when you add a bit more water it's also okay with a thinner lather right against the growth now right off we go very light very light. You know, 1930s razor. And I don't know. Is it right that things were better then, engineering wise, than we are? I thought you were supposed to get better as time went on, but what it shows is those days, again, I've said it again, there was more time, there was more respect. Um, okay, times were hard, you know, money wasn't about as much, only for the certain few in the big jobs, but um, there was respect, there was uh, people, you know, everything was quality, every bit of, it didn't matter what you had, it had quality, people made it, you know, um, and they, you could tell the respect in the product, if that makes sense, and look at that, that proves it, you know, it's, it's such a simple, really, design, it's beautiful, but it did the job, and it shows that they got it right the first time, you can't get it, you can't go any better, we've tried, um, but in regards to shaving, we failed and uh, they're churning out these multi blade cartridge razors. Which I'm not saying, you know, a lot of work and a lot of engineering has gone into them, obviously, and they, and they work and they do their job. They're very clever. Um, which they wouldn't have been able to do them days.
but they don't last it's all about the money everything's throwaway like you could change funny enough a car the back lens on the car on time if it broke or you you know pick a second hand one up you gotta buy the whole damn unit now I mean there's no there's no sense in it That's lovely. Very nice. Trouble when you have it a bit thicker, sometimes it'll dry a bit quickly if you don't uh, stop talking, obviously. few pickups. Do you know, I'm enjoying this? I go quiet when I enjoy it. Sorry. Mind you, you're probably glad. Shit him up. Right. Not much there. Have you had some good shaves? I hope so. Feel it there, guys. Watch this. I love that sound on the last pass. Good slickness on the soap, as you may be able to tell, because I'm shaving just with adding water, so there's a good slickness on it. It performs well during the shave, gives good protection, and it gives a lovely, listen to this now, listen here, listen. These blades are not as thin you see as a double edged razor blade. So sometimes they might take a bit longer to get there, but well worth it. Oh, I can still feel a touch there. I, <laughs> I'm my worst enemy. Even though I can overshave and I bleed sometimes, but I gotta get this. I just, I don't know. There. Listen. That's good enough for you, that's good enough, I'll be here all night, sorry. You know what it's like, don't you? Superb! <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That is lovely.
Okay. Bit of a change. I'm not using thayers, I'm using boots. And if you can see this, tea tree witch hazel and witch hazel. It's like a, a tonic, cleansing tonic. Um, there's something slightly oily. Bit of a tingle. Yeah, smell the tea tree oil. Good for you. Good for you. And aloe vera and all that stuff. Tea tree oil. That's very nice. Um, there's something leaves slightly tacky, but nothing unpleasant. Um, but that'll soon be made clear when I show you what I'm using as a cologne today. You ready for this? Because of the clove in the soap, Pinard Clubman, Virgin Island Bay Rum. Hey, you ready for this? Hey, come on! <laughs> if that doesn't take you back to times gone by in America, I don't know. What would keep expecting old Columbo to come round the corner? Sorry to disturb you. And he always used to go off and the Oh one more thing. And that's when he'd have them. <laughs> Brilliant. The old sticker. I wonder what happened to that? He still got the coach, you know. He did a radio show. Mind you, is he still alive these days? I think he is. Um did a radio show and they were asking about that coat he wore, he said he, he had it at home. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I have overshaved a bit there. Right, Nivea Men Sensitive, is it? No, original. Can't see with no glasses. Good job you can. Just a drop. There you go. Put the old protection back. I always put too much of this stuff on. Oh, this is a nice, pleasant smell. The original is lovely. It's the original cream that the scent of it just takes me back to a yeah cream, something like um, I'm sure my grandmother or somebody used to use. It must have been a cre Nivea cream or something. I don't know, but it's got that hint of that smell that makes you feel safe when you smell this. You felt safe because. You could, your grandmother was there, your grandfather. And it's funny, isn't it? Talking rubbish, I know, but I know what I'm on about. Right, look at that. <laughs> right then, bit of a recap, shall we? We're using this very special, if I can get this, the Gem Gold Bullet. Gold bullet tip, I should say. Uh, gem gold bullet tip, um, single edged razor, 1930s razor. Comes in this case, comes with a blade case with blades in it. Um, never used them because I want to keep them. So I used one of the other, I've got a stock of gem blades, and there it is. Didn't move, and it did a fantastic job. Uh, lovely looking razor. Lovely colour, bit of a James Bond type looking thing, I think. <laughs> you can like that lighter, was it a lighter that turned into a gun? Um forgot the name of the film now. Yeah. Anyway. Fantastic. Good weight to it, well balanced, good grip, it's a lined handle, very thick, deep lines. Um just fantastic. Absolutely superb. So that'll be clean now and put back. We use the 100% um, all natural super creamed triple butter shave soap, uh, citrus and bay. It's a crow really, a cross between a hard puck and um, a soft soap, a soft cream. Uh, very nice. Lathered up very quick. 
in the captain's choice bowl because of the grips at the bottom. Lathered up very quick, very creamy. You can have it as wet or as thick as you like. I like it thick because it matches my head inside. And I use the Ever Ready Horsehair Brush. Thank you so much. Like a badger brush that is. Superb. Good protection with the soap during the shave. A lovely scent. Nothing overpowering. But for my nostrils, for my scent, the 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 citrus was in the background and the bay, the clove, was in the front, the foreground, you know, that was the main smell. But you could smell the two of them, none of them overpowering, superb. Rinsed off with water and then I used the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Good stuff. It's a bit, there's something oily in it, a bit tacky, but that goes, it doesn't last. But it's a good, it's, good, it's a good one. Bit of a tingle there. And then we use the Pinaud Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum. It doesn't come like this. I bottled I bought a load of these bottles um, and I decanted it from plastic bottles into this and I took the label off the bottle and put it onto this. And I think if they did bottles like that, it'd be superb. We're lucky in this country, a lot of stuff does come in glass still, but um What's the reason for doing that? Well, the reason I did it, I was suggested by someone from America that said um, in the plastic it can taint the scent or something, or it may do. So I thought, yeah, good idea. I like glass bottles anyway, so I decanted a lot of stuff that comes in plastic into bottles. And it does keep better. You know, there's no, there's no tainting of glass, is there? I'll just clean. Um, it keeps better somehow. Right, and that is it. Yellow roses. And uh, I shall keep you good people no longer. So uh, <laughs> have a fantastic rest of the week. Thanks for all your comments and your support as usual. I do read them all and I give you the thumbs up if I haven't responded. Look underneath and there'll be a thumbs up as a thank you very much. Um, so have some good shaves. Have a great week. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave, so take care.